Go on, skip a judge. Blackpot, Koku show them. Last story. Anas tried to entrap George Weir. Mm. You know what entrapment is? To try to give money to somebody and then get the person to be arrested or get the person to do a certain crime so that you catch them doing the crime. Crime. They call that entrapment. Is Anas entrapping people? What is Kennedy Japan saying? That's him. He's the one who told us this story. We didn't know. Anas plotted to entrap Liberia's president and Nyantechi. Kennedy Japan reveals. Kennedy Japan, member of parliament for Asin Central, has alleged that investigative journalist Anas Armiyao Anas has set out to frame. Liberia's president, George Weir, he said Anas Armiyao Anas may have framed the Liberian president along with Kwesi Nyantechi, the former president of the Ghana Football Association in the alleged number 12 corruption documentary. According to Mr. Japon, George Weir was interested in the offer from Anas, fake from, from Anas's fake investor at the time and wanted to work with them both because he was running for president. He admitted that Nyantachi was invited to Dubai three times in a row by Anas and his colleagues, but did not accept any of the invitations. Kennedy Japan claims that when Nyantachi accepted Anas's first invitation, he traveled with George Weir to conduct business as planned. The meeting was finally called. Kennedy Japan continued after Nyantachi expressed dissatisfaction with the way he was being treated and threatened to sue Anas. Kwesi Nyantechi was invited to Dubai three times in a row. On the first one, he traveled with the president of Liberia. They stayed in the hotel because Anas and his group did not turn up. Kwesi Nyantechi and his group threatened legal action. Kennedy Japan said it was the first time Anas had appeared and pleaded with Kwesi Nyantechi. He said, under the guise of undercover journalism, Anas and his colleagues had entrapped several persons, including judges, lawyers, and other public officials. He denied claims that Anas's work is journalistic and has a sincere aim of addressing social problems. This Anas Armiyao Anas. And the next one is George Weir. That's him. This is the president of Liberia. Now, in the story, Kwesi Nyantechi was invited to Dubai to meet a certain Sheikh Al Khani, powerful Sheikh who had money and wanted to invest in Ghana. Nyantechi was friends with George Weir. He told George Weir, I have landed a certain rich man. He is stinking rich. He can sponsor. Listen, he can sponsor your presidential bid your campaign so that when you become president you can do business with him you see the common sense Kennedy Japan is bringing up and this is entrapment now let us go into funding of political parties why would you have a foreigner one Sheikh Al Khani why would you want a foreigner like Sheikh Al Khani to sponsor your presidential bid why? Political funding is supposed to be internal. And as internal as it is, it has to be clean. This is a businessman who has his eye on your land. If he sponsors you to become president, will he not call the shots? Let's, let's, let's think. Let's think. You are looking for funding to be president. And you are being sponsored by somebody outside. Remember this same thing that happened in France. That some people said Gaddafi was funding some presidential hopefuls. Remember in America. It is a big crime. One of the biggest crimes that anybody could ever commit 
in the politics of America, Canada, England, and even Europe. But in Africa, it's okay. You are following one Sheikh Al Kani because you believe that he has told you he's rich, so he's rich. You are drawing George Weir to come in there and also make money. He ends up videoing you bragging that you can help him. You will bribe the president, bribe Kennedy Japan himself and some other people because he's loud mouth. And then you control the whole nation. We saw you. Where's the entrap entrapment in this? You saw money and you lost your senses. That's not entrapment. It's greed. Money should not make you lose your patriotism and senses. And you call it entrapment. Let's be serious. Come here. What did I say? Let's be serious. You are already corrupt if you see money and you lose your senses. When Nkrumah was president, at the time he died, what did he have in his name? Yet he controlled all the money. He could have been corrupt too. Was he corrupt? Hogwash. Hey! I'm gone. God bless you. Wayo!